Hey, Data Dead here with another video on the APC40. Now, compared to something newer like the Launchpad or Push, it doesn't have much in the way of alternate functionality. And while Max for Live is great for extending it, I've been playing with Hans Petrov's Python remote scripts, which can allow us to get much faster access to the control hardware. And with the remote script installed, you can access alternate modes for the grid by pressing Shift, and then using the Track Select button to switch between them. Let's open up Ableton and have a look at the different modes and see what they do within our song. The first mode is the standard APC session view. You can navigate left, right, up, and down within the clip grid and use the buttons to launch clips or scenes. Second mode is the so-called shift mode, which lets you see a whole 5x8 screen of clips for each button and navigate by page, which is handy for bigger live sets. Modes 3 through 7 let us use the clip grid to send MIDI notes to our digital instruments. While this layout is probably best for playing drums or samples, it does have several other modes that might be more suited for chords or for melodic playing. However, the most fun feature for me is actually a live meter bridge, which you can access in mode 8. This mode is not included with the original APC 6440 script, but I've added it in by adapting another script by Will Marshall and adding some additional code. As you can see, we get a set of 8 fairly low resolution but high visibility VU meters on the clip grid, and all of the mixer controls still work, only now we can actually see what we're doing. For larger projects, we also have working session navigation to access any track in the set. And for even more detail, we can press and hold the select button for a group track to expand it and see the levels of each subtrack in the grid while we adjust them in real time with the faders. Live metering is something I've wanted in hardware for a long time, so I hope it's useful, or at the very least entertaining for you as well. One final feature you may like is an attention-getting mode that lets you know in no uncertain terms when the master channel is clipping. Thanks for watching, and happy mixing.